Here's the part of crypto nobody explains, but every whale uses liquidity pools. So what is a liquidity pool? This is the start of a DeFi in five series where I will explain the basic principles of decentralized finance in a clear, simple way in under five minutes. So what is a liquidity pool? So first we have a blockchain. A blockchain is full of tokens that can be created by anyone either as a developer or easily through a front end that's integrated with the blockchain. Then you have liquidity pools. So a liquidity pool is when two tokens, token A and token B, for example, are perfectly balanced by math and code in a combined pool. You can add tokens, liquidity, into the pool to earn fees on the trading volume that flows through that liquidity pool. Every trade through a liquidity pool changes the balance of the pool. So in other words, it's a swap. So in this example, swapping 100 token A for 99 token B. The price is set by a fixed formula. The formula is X multiplied by Y equals K. So this is A times B equals the constant. So this is fixed by math and code. As traders swap one token for another, you as a liquidity provider earn a fee based on that trading volume. So on PulseX, it is 0.22% of all trades proportional to your share of the pool. If there are a million token A and a million token B in the pool and you owned 100% of the pool, you would earn 0.22% of the 100 tokens swapped in. Therefore, that would be plus 0.22 of token B. This automatically compounds into your pool holdings and this is where your yield comes from. So now let's take a look at this on PulseX and how to actually set one up. So in this example, I'm going to be using PUSDC and PUSDT simply because at the moment it's trading virtually at a one-to-one. -one. And I'm hoping in the future, this is going to be a liquidity pool that's going to be very valuable. So currently there's $57,000 in liquidity and only $512 of volume. So the volume is not all that big in this particular liquidity pool. When you go to PulseX, you would go to hover over the trade and you would click liquidity. Then it will come up with your liquidity. So if you've got liquidity pools here, it will show all your pools. And then you just go to add liquidity. And then you would enter the tokens that you want. So you can enter any two tokens. So I'm gonna use USDC and USDT. And you have two options here. You have V1 and V2. It's automatically on V2. And this is what I would pretty much always 100% keep it on. The reason why is because in V2, by adding V2 liquidity, you'll earn 0.22% of all trades on this pair proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool, accrue in real time, and can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. V1 does not have this. Adding V1 liquidity helps burn PulseX. 100% of the swap fee goes to the buy and burn contract, which pays a 0.1% bounty for those that run it. So if we go to this, we'll max this out. And basically I would own 0.01% or less than 0.01% of the pool. And I would simply press supply. So I'm going to sign and there are different wallets, but for the purposes of this, first you want to approve it. So there'll be one for the approval. So this is going to approve it. Now that transaction has gone through. Now we press apply and then there'll be another pop-up. Ah, in that instance, because I'd already done it before, I didn't need to do that. But normally you have to approve and then you press apply. And then I just go back here or I can go here to liquidity and you should be able to see your pool here. So if I type USDC, USDT, here we go. There's my tokens earning 0.01% of the liquidity pool. So that's it. Define five. What is a liquidity pool?